beautiful. Are you ready? Howdy folks, indeed, will the Omni Knight do it or is it going to be the IO and PA combination? I mean, I think I can actually disagree with the panel. I don't know, I've done this before and it didn't end well for me, but I kind of I like this PA pick. I don't know, what, what, what do you think, Theban? Okay. Oh God, oh no. <laughs> Uh, it didn't go well last time, but you know what? I'm gonna stick by my guns. I think the PA is gonna do it. I believe in Nico Baby PA. Let's go. Yeah, five pounds to charity, uh, special effect charity here in the UK uh, for whoever gets the wager uh, incorrect in this time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doubling down the line. So I reckon they can pull us to a 1-1. One, one. The battle begins. Oh, bit of action down at bottom. Purification doing a decent amount of damage. Hanskin, he needs to run. S4 going with the body blocks, though, to get Hanskin away. And, uh, well, Hanskin's going to get out. And a lot of spread damage done to the side of 404 as well. So an interesting trade here in the bottom lane. No first blood, and the rune goes towards Hanskin. So it's going to be a, a two for two on the bounties. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We uh, need, need to see some magic coming out from S4 and Hanskin, especially last game. You know, S4 just had probably the least game impact out of all the cores last game. Not really his fault when you're playing DK into two sources of percentage-based damage. It really doesn't feel good in that situation with the Minerva Pulse and the Infernal Blade. But uh, this game on Lord, it looks like he's set to have potentially much more game impact, which will be good to see. You are a true friend. Meanwhile... Well met, fellow man. Yeah, very possibly as we have this uh, Blood Rider in the top lane, we'll miss onto both though. Nice little split there from FMG and Nico as they uh, continue the pressure going. Meanwhile, Solo going for a bit of a trade with Hanskin as he chases him off and forces him to use out a salve down at bottom. So that's going to be uh, quite nice for the Omni Knight actually to, to get the positive trade there. It's a very tanky hero though. Yeah, I believe the last time I took one of these wages, by the way, it was against um, Omni Knight and Sven again. So. Um, you know, hey man, I'm, I'm not doubting myself. That's that's not what you're hearing here. I believe in Alliance. As a, oh, that's a curry of the way of uh, way of hands get at the very least. And a lot of harassment out onto Solo as well with this battery salt. Very obnoxious. How's our middle lane going? We've got Limp versus Samael, the Zeus versus Alina. These two magic-y damage -y heroes. Limp is uh, really kind of getting up in Samael's face here. Pushing him back under his tower and just denying him out from the creeps. Wow, this is some, uh, this is some dominance from Limp in the mid lane. Yeah, but uh, Smell is able to easily clean up a bunch of this. Yes, just using the Arc Lightning, it's two points in it now, so the damage is quite severe. And uh, we'll get down these creeps quite easily. Radiant structures are fortified. They require time. Top lane, Zayat's taking a decent amount of damage here. There is a dagger and a blink strike available from the PA, but she decides not to go for it in the end. Instead, choosing to get some sweet, sweet CS. No 
sorceries avail. Invisibility. No, it's, it's feeling pretty bad for Samel, but he's going to try and catch up with uh, some jungling, which is, of course, what you do now with Zeus. Get a bunch of points in this Arc Lightning and then uh, hit the jungle, make some stacks, and hopefully bring yourself back into the game with that. But, I mean, this early on is, is not very common at all. Samel has been bullied out. Yeah, realizing the smackdown onto uh, poor old Smell here, the king. Missing bottom. Radius uh, middle tower is losing its foundation. Yeah, not very pleasant. Can't be. Uh... <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. It's not a very uh, timing heavy hero. Just press buttons, do damage, smile. <laughs> Don't get killed. That's going to be a tricky part, though, because you are playing into PA, IO, uh, clockwork. You know, they, they, these heroes have a lot of gap close to get on top of the backline hero. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would be nice to see a uh, Blink Zeus in this game. We've seen a couple of players do that before, and it does seem to be very nice just to get your positioning right, and of course, uh, you see that reload coming, you get yourself away. Get yourself out of vision, and should be nice and safe. It's gonna be a first blood, and uh, Ramsey is actually able to feel that despite the uh, purification coming down. I thought this purification would have taken it, but Ramsey gets in the right click, and that's gonna be first blood for him. So he's gonna be very happy with that one. I'm a little bit surprised they didn't know that this Earth Spirit was coming down to bottom because he kind of walked through mid, um, took the arcane rune. The but no warning was given. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, oh, Rupture out onto Hanskin here. He could be in some trouble as uh, no one comes forwards here. Hanskin gonna try and make his way out of the blood ride, but I think this clockwork might be dead for a second time in a row. And this one at the hands of no one. Fear nothing! Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Perfect location. Yeah, I mean, the thing with PA is, uh, you know, she's going to have this Battle Fury, but she's not going to be ready to fight when she has a Battle Fury. She wants to farm up a bit first. So if you can able to rest a few cores to do work, I think that's the most valuable thing you can do. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. This would be a huge kill. Yeah, they're gone. 
it's all over now. Uh, Nico maybe still still shoving his face forwards, you know, not afraid to uh, try and bait a little bit more out of the side of 404, see how much value he can find from this. We want that a bot and the spend's gone down. Oh my goodness, a rotation in from Lin secures a kill onto Ramsey's Alliance. A very, very big kill here to slow down that spend. Yeah, Laguna Blade committed and that's just gonna rip through the spend very quickly indeed. top tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. There is little it can do. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Just like being dead. battle quickens. Yeah, so towers get traded. No big deal. Just trading tier ones. All very even right now. No one really pulling ahead too hard. No. No one on Dyat's walking up this high ground. S4 will see them both and uh, gonna throw down the might play to Malapis. Yeah, he's, he's nearby, but Limp's also backing up the side of Alliance, so it's a pretty even fight currently when you're looking at the numbers. Still, no huge commitment coming out from Alliance just yet. They don't really have the catch. They see some ale here. They've got the dagger out onto him. This could be trouble for the Zeus as they get on top of him, but the roll comes across here from Zyatz, but a great LSA onto the two of them. Laguna Blade comes down onto Zyatz. Nico maybe takes down some ale. Two heroes dead on the side of 404, and they're looking for number three as well, so they're gonna go across onto no one. He's gonna turn around, pop the rupture, plop the blood right, Nico, baby. Well, he's gonna be fine. He's got so many heroes backing him up here. There's no real way for them to turn aggressive onto this PA. And they will just be forced to back themselves off on the side of 404. Now they did kill Hanskin elsewhere on the map. Uh, it looks like the Sven was able to just solo kill the clockwork, which is very, very nice for Ramses. Oh, S4. Oh, sweet little baby S4 going for a TP. Cancels it out, realizing that its demise is nigh and will fall in the middle lane. A lot of magic damage coming out. They really need to find this pipe as soon as possible on the side of Alliance just to stop themselves just getting run over by all these nukes. But even then, won't, won't help out versus that pesky Bloodseeker and all this pure damage. Very annoying. Percentage resistance. Yeah, they find him again here. Hanskin, he's he's doing some uh, some deep plays to get some vision down. Zero and four currently, which isn't great, but exactly reconnaissance missions. Radiant's bottom tower yeah, is fading fast. And meanwhile in the bottom lane, Bloodseeker has picked himself up an Atos, just shows that off to Nico Baby straight off the bat. Hey, hey, buddy, you're gonna need a BKB, otherwise you ain't gonna be bouncing around these fights too much. Whoa. All right. Coming in. Yeah, he's getting taken down instantly, but they're looking for the return kill onto Handskin. Once again, the clockwork's gonna be that target. Slant stuff, so he can't hook shot away, but there's a reload coming in the back lines. They're looking for some mail. Will they find him? Dagger comes down. Some mail's back under the tower, so they don't really want to go for him. So instead, they're gonna send a look across over towards the Earth Spirit. Straight into him, and they should be able to take him down. The heal comes out, but it's not enough. But the Magnetize doing a decent amount of damage, but the heal up from FNG is gonna keep the PA nice and safe. And it's just a clean return kill from Alliance, whilst also keeping Handskin alive for once. Not bad for the side of Alliance, as 404 lose out there. But the Sven is now farming at a very alarming pace. A fitting bounty. Yeah, not a horrible timing.
He's just saying hello to S4. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Oh, it's a bit more than a hello as uh, Bloodseeker comes through, drops down the silence. So uh, S4's just going to play it safe, throw down the Dark Rift ASAP, and get himself out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Limp being caught out here by Zayat, so no one but in comes FMG trying to keep him alive, pops the mech, pops the stick, is it going to be enough to turn this around? Limp, the science is now out, so he can maybe look to try and get some LSAs off, does do so, lands it onto two, surely they can't keep him alive here though, but FMG is doing such a good job, and in comes S4, they drop down the, no, the blood's right, it's going to be enough to bring down Limp, she came so close to surviving this one, but she does still drop, a nice kill from 404 as they take down Melina. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. The trees whisper of a strategy. Dyer's middle tower is learning to fear. It is Dyer's right, I'm afraid. Tower has been uprooted. Yep. Heavenly Grace, very cool. As we have a hook shot coming forward onto this Bloodseeker. They're going to try and take down no one. He's going to turn around, drop down that blood right there. Too much damage coming through onto the Bloodseeker. He's going to die, but now the Sven turning it around onto S4, but he's just going to back himself away. Got FNG to help him out, who has that mech at the Rebbe as they gang themselves down some mail. Down goes the Zeus. They're looking forward onto the Ramses here. They want to catch the big target, but they don't have the vision right now. Ramses popping that war cry just to get himself away. And the Sven will sprint out of this engagement. Meanwhile, the PA has finally finished off that Battle Fury. Bounty. Radiant's middle tower is losing its foundation. Radiant structures are fortified. The stream tells of tactics. Yeah, Atos out onto the Underlord. Underlord thinking of popping that Dark Rift, but holds off for the time being. They still want to see if they can make something of this as they throw a couple of spells across, but Solo is there with the support in the back lines, just throwing down the Heavenly Grace, throwing down the Purifications, keeping everybody else nice and in tip-top condition. Really is coming into a, one of those carry drag races where Ramsey's... And Nico, baby, are just trying to outfarm each other as fast as they physically can. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. There is little it can do. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower is learning to feed. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Uh oh. Yeah, this Bloodseeker is going to get finished off. Gets down a final He's fuck you, Blood, right before he dies, but doesn't connect onto anyone either. So that's just going to be a lonely death for the Bloodseeker. Interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. He's there a big, big boy. Do. Don't poke the bear. Radiant's bottom tower is fading fast. Yeah, the 50% surge resistance is pretty strong. Uh, there is an indication that he's going to go for BKB at some point, though, because he didn't disassemble his Echo Saber for the Ogre Axe. He bought a new one, so he might still be wanting to get one later, or maybe a Sanjin Yasha for the extra surge resistance. I don't know. True enough. Yeah. All ones will break. Yeah, he's chilling. Throws. Oh my god. 
<laughs> physics, okay? Meanwhile, they managed to find out the Omni Knight here. He could be in some trouble, but they do throw down with the blood right in. And the skin also taking a bit of damage. The roll comes through from Zayat's Blolo just about getting up that Guardian Angel in time. The Dragon Slave will not finish the job. Meanwhile, Solo is the one who finally gets killed off by S4, finds him in the back lines with the Firestorm, and they're going to keep themselves away. So they don't want to get caught up by the blood right, Ramses. He's on the back lines here. Doesn't have that much health left. No, Omni Knight. They need to finish him off. The dagger comes through, and a jump forward from Nico Baby. Hanskin could have taken the kill, but left it for the PA. Very nicely done, giving the kill across to that PA. Spen goes down. A great fight from Alliance here as they defend their top lane and a little bit more. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I guess because Samel has had such a miserable game that they've said, hey, you know what? We can pump the brakes on the pipe a little bit and instead get ourselves a plate mail and just make sure that I'm not going to be able to just die to the Sven when I go to defend these tier two towers. Really nice thought process from S4, I think. Yeah. Okay, but hear me out here. Um, where is Sven's armor? Because what I'm seeing is this PA heading towards Desolator at a very scary rate, and a Sven with currently 11 armor. Yeah, yeah, so, and the Sven has 11 armor. The Heavenly Grace just gives him strength, so I, I kind of feel like he's just going to be like a big block of butter. Is that going to be enough? Oh, uh, uh, okay, under the tower, no one goes down. He's going to drop as they get that cheeky... Oh, it's real quite enough, though. About 15 armor. Yeah, it's okay. All right, all right. I accept that. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It may yet stand. The Radiant have called upon oh, their Oh, Nico. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he saw Zayats, but couldn't quite find the confidence to go for that one. No, especially not when there's Bouncer Runes to be grabbed. Yeah. Go for the easy gold. Invisibility. No. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. There is little it can do. The time. Yeah, and last engagement, the reason it went so well is because Hanskin played it very nicely. He didn't just yeet onto the Sven immediately, he took his time, he controlled his yeet, and uh, got on top of Solo instead, and that's a big target they need to bring down. Once he is dead, there's no Heavenly Grey Sven coming at you with 9 billion damage. And then you can actually take the fights, which is quite nice. But 404 aren't willing to let that happen again. They're going to try and smoke up and take the fight on their terms. They do see Nico Baby here. They see these creeps dying and realize that that's going to be a PA, but he blinks away. They know what's going on here. Coming in. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Really nice. Radiant's bottom tower is yep. under attack. There is little it can do. Really nice. They didn't even put anyone at risk there. They didn't even put anyone in vision. They took one creep wave down, hid in the trees, and the catapult was able to just do the damage to the tower. Sure, they don't take the tower, but the smoke is completely wasted from 404, and now Alliance get a chance to uh, play a bit more freely. Come back onto the map. Radiant. 
Radiance middle tower is under oh attack. dear, they use the Thunder God's Wrath to find him here, but he's got himself a Dark Rift. So they don't have enough damage to get through him, I'm felt Not sure, so he's just going to say peace out attack. and get himself back into the base. Meanwhile, uh oh, Lena could be in some trouble. Limp has been targeted here as the TPs come through from the side of for a four Superman spin in the neighborhood, and that is just Limp disappearing. So forward, forward onto the clockwork as well. Not the hero bought down. That's going to be that. I genuinely thought Limp had gotten off the yules there, but he, he did. He was just dead. That's uh, thank you, Sven15. No Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is fading fast. Yeah, and there's our uh, six million damage Sven coming through, taking down Roshan and a few hits, and they actually get the Aegis to some mail here, huh? Yeah, we keep this boy alive. Yeah. Limb trying to solo the Omni. I didn't quite have enough damage to bring him down though, and well, doesn't want to stick around too long and invite 404 over for a team fight. Although she is uh, in the neighborhood for a rather long time. And there's a rupture out onto Limp. S4 doesn't have a Dark Rift available either as the Spirit gets on top of him, kicks him back. Limp just losing all his HP. The Atos comes down. The Blood Rites there as well. Zelina goes down. Meanwhile, over on the side, well, they've taken down some L1s. So yeah, Nico maybe got on top of him. A BKB is available on the PA, exactly. Though they don't really want to overcommit to this one. They're just going to allow Hans again probably to die in the back line. Don't really see this Clockwork surviving this one, unfortunately. Good night, Sweet Prince. As the clock will fall, but the rest of Alliance make their way out. Thunderstruck. Hmm. Yeah. Solo could be a target, but don't know. Yeah, true. <laughs> Solo senses something's wrong. He sees that creep die in front of him for no reason. He's like, hmm, something doesn't add up here. My, my senses are tingling. Yeah, I'm wondering when we're going to see another fire out from Nico, baby. It's already seeming like it's got so much value as they go in the bottom lanes. They're going to be able to find that very quickly indeed and take the tower along with it. But they're pinging out. They they know where this uh, Relo is. If they bring that, don't bring back the PA. Don't bring back the PA. Don't do it. Oh my god, FNG. He's a smart guy. And now the TPs are coming. Alliance, they'll have to back themselves away. And uh, S4 will be the one to help and do that. Hanskin, 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 Hanskin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Killing spree. Guys, go on without me, please. I'll hold them off. No, Hanskin, it's fine. You can you can come with us. It doesn't. No, I'll give my life. Uh, all right, buddy. See you later. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. I foresee the Radiance top tower falling shortly. Yeah. <laughs> Regeneration. Yield tactical retreat. Classic. Very, very strong strat from Lance. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I, I said that a couple of minutes ago. I was thinking if Nico Bay was actually going to do it. I mean, I didn't really expect it, but he's fully committing. Doesn't want the basher. Um, instead, just straight up. Oh. Mm. Mwah. Still has issues if he gets ruptured though for Nico Baby. That's the one thing you always gotta think about. No. Quite annoying to deal with for Nico Baby. And PA not a hero which likes to get ruptured at all. One okay. Can't remember. Dyer's top tower is feeling its mortality. Radiance Bottom Tower is under attack. Dire structures are fortified. The trees whisper of a tower is under attack. Radiance Bottom Tower He's is edging under attack. Around the side, there just keeping no his distance. On the side of an island, they say, ah, nah. We're, we're good. S4 is going to keep them off this top tower. And it all should be well for the sides of both teams. Radiant's bottom tower is fading fast. Very, uh, very slow game now from the two teams. They're both kind of just waiting for Roshan to spawn. Although I say that, uh, still looking to put some pressure on top for the side of uh, for a four. And he's leading the charge. It fights for its life. But there's another fire. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Oh the wow! Earth okay. Seems relieved. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. So this is going to uh, basically be the, the, the answer that instead of MKB or Divine Rapier, the other thing you can do is break down the PA and try and take her out like that. I mean, if she's not ready for this, then she is just going to absolutely melt. Like, the hero's not that tanky without her evasion. So this is a huge threat on the board for the side of 404, which Nico Baby needs to be aware of and Radiant's needs to play around. Tower is under attack. There is little it can do. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Bit impatient. Hanskin gets popped here, and they go with the Sven, but are they ready for it? Limp actually blinks right onto the Sven, gets off the Yules as they go for the backlines here. Ramsey's being controlled up and kited very nicely as Nico Baby goes across immediately looking for Solo. Solo gonna pop away a Guardian Angel, but killed off by the Laguna Blade. Nico Baby though, ruptured up, in some trouble, has to pop the BKB. Is he gonna TP himself out or is he gonna try and stand and fight? Right now the answer is stand and fight. No one's top lines as they jump in onto S4. Ultimate from Sven doing so unreal. much damage, but in comes PA! She tears him a new one! Oh my god! Ramsey just gets put into the grave, and now, well, that's gonna be this fight over, I'm afraid. They'll turn around, they'll deal with the Bloodseeker, root him up, try and take him down the fourth stuff across. He's a fast little bug of this Bloodseeker, but I think they've got him down as the LSA lands, and they will kill Radiant's off the blood. And now Nico Baby, fast. the king of the game. Never doubt him. The Nico Baby PA on the high ground right now, taking down the tier three. Is under attack. That is on the other side. Of the structures are fortified. They require time. Radiance Bottom Tower is fading fast. Radiance Bottom Tower has fallen. Buy back from you no one. Back. They want to try and grab a rupture. Radiance Courier has been slain. A sound strategy. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. It will fall yeah, like a rupture. Twenty-seven seconds on Sven. Yeah. Radiance Middle Tower is losing its foundation. Yeah, going on, it'll be a great target, but then he goes under, <laughs> literally under the Ancient, trying to kill off some mail Radiance here with Middle that nullifier, popping the BKB, popping just about everything, but they don't get the kill, right and now Alliance need to leave. The Sven's coming back in five seconds, S4. He doesn't have a Dark Rift for another nine seconds. This could get messed. Oh, okay, Zayat gets the kill onto Limp in the back, and he does give his life for it, but I mean, that that is value right there. Radiance Middle Tower is losing oh, its foundation. Oh, they look in. They look in. Yeah, his best friend in the world. Can he get on top? Him some mail in a bit of trouble once again. Nico Baby just controlling up some mail. Will be able to get a kill with Dark Rift out immediately afterwards. Beautifully timed. Meanwhile, the poor old Io is going to get butchered. Oh, reload. Reload. Ah. Oh. 
I'm not sure what it would have done anyway, but there we go. See you, FNG. A lot of AoE. Alrighty, well, interesting series of events as Alliance try to push for the high ground. They don't take the barracks. They do get a couple of key kills in the process, killing off some L once again, but also 404 able to get a couple of retribution oh, kills whilst it. Alliance get themselves out. But now this is key. Roshan is up. A nice short cooldown time, a hugely favoring 404 here. So they could be in a real good position to try and take this one down. No S4, he's sitting on that game. high ground. He sees no one here. They're immediately going to throw down the route as this uh, spirit comes rolling on past. Yeah, it's hard for them to take this with this uh, Underlord in the neighborhood. They know this, and Nico Baby's back as well. He's looking for a target. Ramses has a double damage. Uh oh, Silver Edge out onto the PA. PA's broken right now. Doesn't have that evasion, but she's also pretty damn tanky with all that agility armor. So the Sven without the ultimate will not be able to do enough to bring down Nico. Careful, Nico. Just uh, blinking across with the Phantom Strike. So who's trying to fish him out here? Oh my goodness. Rock it on. Well, he, they had the first in, so he could have seen him. Oh, I don't know if he was quite low enough, but either way. Okay, okay. Very, very close. Yeah. He has, he has. He's armored up, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could be a, uh, a bit of a liability. Uh, Nico Baby having such a good performance on this PA. Look at that net worth as they get into that pit and try and take down the Roshan. I mean, I need to do something about this, guys. Where is... Uh... Oh, Nico Baby's actually had to TP back across. And in comes a Sven, looking for the leaner, gets immediately taken down from the Yules, but the Reflection comes down to stun up the Sven with the Lotus Orb at the very last second. Ramsey's getting kited a bit, meanwhile they look over towards Nico Baby in the back lines, popping that BKB in, trying to fight into the Sven. She's just picked up the Satanic, they weren't ready for this on the side of 404, and now they need to readjust. Solo on the run here, caught up by the LSA, Ramsey's coming in, missing every single shot onto Nico Baby here. Satanic pop from Nico as he fights into the Sven, Sven no longer with the God Strength, in some real trouble. Turns around, looks to Underlord, but the Sven is dead. Nico Baby coming out on top. Once again with a triple kill, sending him godlike. PA is just not to be messed with at this point. The surprise satanic pickup from Nico Baby was a stroke of genius as they now take down that Roshan. Aegis, Nico. Oh, oh, okay. Aegis in the pit. Lena. Lena's gonna grab it. Okay. I guess that was a plan all along because, I mean, Nico Baby had more than enough time to switch, swap something out, but he was like, eh, I don't want it. It's easy mode. Radiance bottom barracks are under attack. Radiance bottom yeah. barracks will no longer. Radiance be. bottom barracks have fallen. They were too late to save them. Radiance middle tower is under attack. I mean, the load sword was very, very last second as well, but. Sven didn't have the time to uh, to answer it, unfortunately. Can you pop BKB in there? It will fall like a ripe apple. Radiant's middle tower has collapsed. Rock it on. Right, okay. Radiant's middle tower is losing yeah. its foundation. Yeah, well, onto the high ground. Fortification gets used. Creeps come in. I mean, they've got catapult on the high ground, so they can attack this high ground if they want to, but... Alliance, playing it nice and slow here. Don't want to overcommit to anything. Sven, meanwhile, just going to try and do a bit of scouting with the Shadow Walk, put himself on the front lines. Fear nothing. So what are Alliance waiting for? What, what What is it they want to jump on? Or what opportunity do they want to see? Regeneration.
Hello. Hook shot onto Solo here. The yours used by Lim. Both, uh, well, you know, he's down. Laguna Bay comes through. It's a lot. It's not quite a thousand, though, so not that scary. One more damage and I'll be sold. Top tower is under yep, attack. once again, Limp kind of just playing around here, looking over for the supports as uh, S4 is going to join in this one as well. They really want to try and catch Zayat here, catch up that Earth Spirit, that annoying backlands jumper, but they won't do so. Zayat's going to TP out of the Limp. Nice TP across. Does he have an LSA? He doesn't have it. No Yules, no LSA, and he will get himself out. Radiant's top tower is under attack. The shell encroach no more. Uh, it's been super annoying. Oh, handskin. Full stuffed forward by no one there. That was cheeky. He wasn't ready for that. No one, you naughty boy. Radiant's top tower has fallen. In goes Sven, popping on ultimate, trying to bring down the PA as quickly as possible for the burst seal comes in from the eye just in time, another hookshot comes through as well, they'll keep Nico Baby alive, Zayat is the one who goes down instead, Ramsey's still chasing though, looking for that IO, looking for the easy target, trying to bring down that support hero, but won't quite do it in time, and now the flick across from PA, she's looking for the easier target, Solo gets taken down with a 1,800 damage crit, and now they look to take down the big boy Sven, he's strong, but is he strong enough, Nico Baby still looking for the chase, but some male Ramsey's are still alive, but their barracks are exposed, Bloodseek with the buyback, Ramsey's, he still wants to fight whilst his god strength is up, knows he needs to, and the break is out onto the PA, maybe they can bring him down in time, but the yours comes out onto Sven to control him up, and now PA once again popping through, has the satanic available, doesn't even matter though, kills off Ramsey just with pure damage, Nico Baby the big bad beefcake takes them by storm smash back into their fountain and 404 will crumble alliance they will take game number two drawing this series to the one one man i mean what can i say never bet against nico baby pa theban never bet against it but i mean what a performance from alliance there i mean what